So guys, some official photos for the mid-season finale and 100th episode of The Flash, what's past is prologue, could have just given us a major tease as to why Barry and Nora are travelling back in time to get some key necessities. Let's try and piece some of these parts of the puzzle together and also discuss some wardrobe changes for Cicada coming up in a few episodes time. <laughs> How's it going speedsters? Welcome to a brand new Flash video. Now in this video we're going to be talking about those 100th episode mid-season finale photos that the CW have released that definitely give us a few clues as to what could be going down in this episode. Now we can't forget that this episode is going to leave us with a big twist like quite the big twist this is serving as the flash's mid-season finale we've got the crossover episode after that but apart from this we're gonna have to wait until january to find out what the heck could be going on with whatever they drop on our heads in this episode now there's quite a few interesting things to point out about these photos especially what is that device that barry is holding in his hands in the photos but before we get into this even further guys subscribe to the channel for more flash videos just like this and if you do go on to like this video why not click that like button as it really does help out the channel more than you could know. Just to give us a bit more context throughout this video, I'm going to read out the synopsis before we dive into the specifics of the photos. In the 100th episode, Barry and Team Flash come up with a plan to stop Cicada. However, the plan calls for Barry and Nora to travel back in time to gather some key necessities. However, Barry hesitates, concerned about his daughter seeing certain parts of his life. Meanwhile, Sherlock takes his concerns about Nora to Iris, and Caitlin turns up a key asset in the fight against Cicada. Now, if there's one thing we know about the Flash's mid-season finale and something to get excited about already, is that the voice of Zoom, Tony Todd, confirms that Zoom will be coming back, as well as other speedsters, all of who want a piece of Barry. But according to what the promo photos show us, what if Barry wants a piece of them instead? So from this first promo photo that you're seeing on screen right now, we see Barry and Nora in the time vault. And perhaps this is where Barry is hesitant about Nora seeing certain parts of his life because they could be discussing going back to like season two Zoom, season one reverse flash, and they could be looking at an article from that time or whatever. And the reason why they're wearing black too is probably to be somewhat stealthy because, you know, obviously wearing Barry's latest future flash suit uh, and his daughter wearing her speedster suit and then going back to a time where they're most likely revisiting main storylines from previous seasons it would be kind of really weird if they got caught out by a past Barry or a past team flash member and they're like wait is that the future flash and who's that with him who's that speedster do you know what I mean it would just confuse the timeline even more so this is probably why they're dressing the way they are and also in the time vault photos that we've been looking at uh, there's also this white chair there that definitely isn't usually there so I have to ask what is this random ass chair doing here now this scene could perhaps be in present day as i said going over the past before they actually time travel back into the past or i do want to pose the question that they could already be in the past because the last time i believe that we saw this chair was from season 2 episode 17 where reverse flash found out that future barry traveled back in time to help him get faster by learning that speed equation and if you remember like barry was handcuffed to like the gideon uh, little thing but i remember Wellsabard was confronting him in the time vault and and there was that little white chair that he even like kicked over in their little temper tantrum. Once he realized that future Barry means, oh, he didn't win way back in that time. That was such a good episode, by the way. This is where I want to chuck in the question of what the heck is Barry holding? What is that device that he's holding in most of these promo photos? Well, we can't forget that the synopsis states that Barry and Nora travel back in time to get some key necessities. Now, when I was looking at these promo photos, that was one of the first things I noticed that was in Barry's hand. And I was racking my brain as to what it could be. Be. I mean, it's got to be fairly significant if he's holding it throughout quite a few of these promo photos uh, to this episode. And the fact that he said that they were going to gather key necessities from the past instantly got me thinking as where the hell have I seen this before? Because I feel some weird kind of deja vu -y feeling with it. So I went onto YouTube and typed in Zoom takes Barry speed because it reminded me of that little uh, speed force uh, collector thing. And that is where I actually uh, watched that scene again. And lo and behold, there it was. And I'm 95% certain that this is at least the 
the same prop that they used, which is known as the Speed Force Transmitter, because that's what it said on the screen when Barry was on that treadmill uh, running, so his Speed Force was getting, like, generated into that lower Speed Force vial, if you will, or Speed Force Transmitter. And that's when, in that episode way back then, Barry's speed was, like, uh, depleted, and then Zoom injected himself and did that really weird kind of, like, speed flex. But I don't know, guys, do you agree with me here? I'm, I trust that I'm showing some kind of images on screen from that episode back when Zoom took Barry's speed and this device. Now, from what we can make out of it, it is remarkably, remarkably similar. I would go as far as saying that it is the same prop. But let's assume for the rest of this video that it is. Why would Barry need this speed force transmitter? I mean, is he really going to go back in time to the previous enemies or previous speedster enemies and take their speed? So let's add this up. We have time travel. We know multiple enemy speedsters will be making a return, including Zoom, all of who want a piece of Barry. And what are these key necessities that Nora and Barry are gathering from the past? Well, could that really be like their speed, like reverse flashes speed? zoom speed i mean i don't know this is where i'm really having a hard time coming to terms with this idea there's no way i can imagine a single instance where barry is going to get you know for example zoom reverse flash or savitar or whatever to hop on one leg run on that treadmill just like barry did when zoom collected his speed so barry can then collect their speed in an attempt to stop cicada in the future that's if this is even about barry juicing himself up with more speed force for the for this like battle with cicada in this episode and even so guys i don't really get why barry would even need to do this like get reverse flashes speed or a contribution of it or zooms or something like that because he's already super duper fast at this point he's way faster i believe than even the uh, villains we've got from previous seasons especially when he came out of the speed force in season four and he's just like all godlike now as a, as a speedster he's much much better than what he was like in season one or two and anyway i think this would be a pretty lame way of going about it or going about defeating cicada in the mid-season finale not that he will be definitively defeated because we know he's filming for future episodes after the mid-season finale still but if he had to collect their speed in a way to try and take down cicada i don't really think that this is it plus don't forget that cicada's dagger dampens like metahuman and the flash's uh powers so unless he wanted to inject himself with even more speed force so that the dagger's dampening powers wouldn't work or if he just did it in between after the dagger already did its dampening thing that could be one way i guess but still i still really have a hard time believing that barry is using the speed force transmitter to get previous enemies speeds to speed i don't know guys i definitely think that this is the same prop but you know i don't know if it's going to be used for the same purpose it was back in season two with zoom so this is where i want to beg the question of does this speed force transmitter also have an alternative function maybe it does and i would love to know your thoughts on that or do you actually think that this speed force transmitter for argument's sake let's assume that this is honestly the speed force transmitter do you think that it wouldn't be used for anything else do you think that it is just used to gather speed force and if that is the case do you think that Nora and Barry are going back in time uh to like just jab zoom with it or something like that or knock him out since they know the timeline they could probably run back to a time where they know zoom is going to be and just pop him over the head but I just can't imagine that actually happening now also in these other promo photos you can see that there's some kind of cicada confrontation going on outside a hospital now I think if you added one and one together this is the same hospital that cicada's daughter or supposed daughter daughter is staying at in the coma and i'm pretty sure by the way that i've i'm the only one who realized in the last episode when we were in orlin's house aka cicada's house and they showed that family photo that wasn't cicada like it literally wasn't cicada or orlin or whatever you want to call him in that family photo which is why i discussed if he was a brother to the mum and dad or dad who passed away or this was the original family and he adopted this girl or, or fostered her but either way that isn't him in the photo and I don't know if anyone realized that and the reason why I'm mentioning that now in this video is just because there might be some of you who may not have watched my review when I pointed that out but I would love to know your thoughts in relation to that not being Cicada in uh, Grace's family photo. But going back to that Cicada confrontation slash fight in front of the hospital where Grace is staying at we now need to factor in that the synopsis said that Caitlyn would be turning up a key asset in the fight against Cicada. Now this theory I really like and it's being talked about left right and center and that's because Cicada this dagger if we there's one thing that we know about how overpowered he is is that it dampens the power of metahumans but caitlin isn't exactly like a dark matter uh you know created metahuman her father being the geneticist that he was isolated that als gene marker that caitlin had but either way she was she's a metahuman in the sense that she wasn't created 
as a metahuman like everyone else was or most people were right so in theory cicada's power dampening skills through that dagger which only affects dark matter metahumans shouldn't affect caitlin so in this fight outside the hospital you would have to think with whatever barry and nora have done at this point in the episode and let's assume they've returned back from their time traveling uh to you know go up against cicada and then you know killer frost comes in the fold she can use her ice abilities to slow him down or just cause some kind of you know damage per second or something like that and then we have like in theory barry and nora with like speed force ammo so when the dagger affects them this is a wild theory by the way but just going off the fact that it's the speed force transmitter they're like injecting themselves with extra speed or something like that when a dagger takes effect i know that's a random theory but either way you can be sure of the Caitlyn one at least because she's going to come in and hopefully really help out with that fight. And then of course guys we have that part in the synopsis that I've, I've talked about this quite a few times in previous videos but I'll mention it one more time that Sherlock is going to take his concerns about Nora to Iris and I can't wait for this moment. Now whether that's her brother that she's working with in the future or the reverse flash is uh, manipulating Nora unbeknownst to her or something like that. There's going to be a big twist that Todd Helbing said would be in this episode and you would have to assume that it would be addressing that Nora suspicion that Sherlock uh, picked up about her way back in episode one, you know, about, oh, you know, punching the accelerator. Did you come to that decision on your own? That's going to rack our brains w until it returns in January. So let me know your thoughts about that, guys, and what you think uh, Sherlock is going to confront or not confront, go to Iris about with his concerns about Nora. And do you think Iris will even believe anything of what he has to say i personally don't think she will and i think she might be quite defensive and so for those guys who have watched this far i wanted to chuck in these photos about cicada's new suit uh, and i believe this is for the filming for episode 11 and i want to thank the mascara bound on twitter the links to this page will be in the description below where you can view all the photos uh, that they took of the flashes filming here but here you can see essentially some new suit photos of cicada there are some other ones out there on the internet this gives you the main look at his new kind of cicada it's not really a suit, if you will. It's more like a new freaking cloak jacket. But I really like the design on the back of it. It's blatantly meant to replicate cicada, like, patterny stuff on their wings. And, you know, he's got a little bit more of... Uh, new swag to his outfit if you will but either way the fact that photos like this are coming out now and i believe as i said this is episode 11 a lot of people are thinking that cicada might end up actually indeed being the big bad for season five where originally a lot of people have been thinking that maybe he would just be around for half the season because of how much of his storyline they were putting into the earlier episodes of season five but who knows they he could very much chris klein could be with us till uh, the very end of episode 22 episode 23 i think it's 22 right i'm not sure anymore anyway everyone that is the video let me know your thoughts on everything i discussed especially uh the speed force transmitter prop being used again i mean tie that in with the fact that zoom and other speedsters are returning it is a bit suspicious that you got the speed force transmitter and previous speedsters is that really going to be Barry Nora's plan? Anyway, click that like button if you did end up enjoying this video. And of course, subscribe for more Flash videos just like this. Links, as always, are in the description down below to my social media and other places to support me like Patreon or my merch. But thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you have a lovely rest of your day. And I'll see you speedsters in the next video. Goodbye.